Once you've created a message bank page bundle through your MyToby Dynabox account, you can now open Snap and import that page bundle. To do so, open Snap Core first. Be aware, you may be using a different page set. However, the process works the same. Once the software is open, be sure you are logged into the MyToby Dynabox account that was used to create the message bank page bundle. To do this, select the Edit icon. Then select the User tab. Here, either confirm the email address or log in to the appropriate account. Then exit Edit Mode. In the software, you're going to want to navigate to where you want to import your page bundle. Maybe you want a button to link to all your recorded messages right here on the Quick Fire page. Or maybe you want to create a button within the phrases. Decide and navigate to that location. Then select the edit icon. Select the button on the page that you want to use for your recorded messages. Update the label as needed. If it's a button that is already linked to a blank page, like the example I am showing you, you need to modify the action by selecting the blue arrow on the right of the action listed. If it's a button that is just a blank button, you will need to select Add Action. I'll show you an example of this later. For this example, I am going to modify the current action by selecting the blue arrow. Then, I'm going to select the pencil to modify the page this button is linked to. I'm going to select Import and Link to Page. Then, I'm going to select From My Toby Dynabox. From the list, I'm going to select the Message Bank page bundle I created. Remember, the default name is Message Bank plus the date and time the file was created. Select Next. And now you'll see all the tags you created when uploading to the message bank in My Toby Dynabox. You'll also see the main page, which is the same name as the default file name. Select this main page. Select Import. Select Done, and now select Done to exit Edit Mode. Now, when you select the button we created, it will take you to a page containing all the tags or categories of messages that you recorded. Select a button. Then select a message and hear your voice rather than the synthesized voice of the system. Good morning. Just like any page within Snap, you can use the edit icon to make changes to buttons. You can select a button and resize it. Change the label if needed. Select a symbol if your user is utilizing symbols, or even delete the current recording and re-record that message if possible. Now, you may be asking, what if I want to just import one category or tag at a time? You can do that too. 
Let's say I want to import the family names that I recorded into the My Family Phrases button. Navigate to that page. Select Edit. Select a button. Looking at my actions, I'm going to delete the current action because I do not want this button to speak the label when I select it. Now I need to link this button to that page of messages. So I'm going to select Add Action. Scroll down through the list of actions. Under the navigation section, select Link to another page. Again, select Import and Link to Page. And again, select From My Toby Box. Select the Message Bank Bundle. Select Next. You may see an error message like the one I have on my screen. Resolve the conflict just by clicking on the prompts. Now you're going to select the single category or tag that you want to import. So again, my example was I wanted to bring in the recorded family names. So I'm going to select family names and then select import. Select done. Now select that back button to go back to the button content. You can change the name of the label if needed. Maybe you want to indicate that these are your recorded messages. Once you have the correct label on your button, select Done to exit edit mode. Now when I select that button, I'm taken to a single page with the names of my family members that I recorded. Lucy. Again, I can use the edit tool to make any changes to button size, content of specific buttons, or page organization.